Gentlemen, this is just going to be a simple, quick video showing you how to get Battlefield 6 to work with Process Lasso. Seen a couple people saying that it was impossible because of the Javelin anti cheat or whatever. It's not impossible, it's just kind of tricky. Uh, when you boot the game, there's like two processes, like ghost processes that pop up that you have to actually change the affinity for, but they disappear quite quickly in Process Lasso, so it's kind of hard to grab them. Don't worry. I'm going to show you what processes they are and throw them in the description of the video so that you guys can get Process Lasso to work with Battlefield 6. As you can see in the top left, I just have Steam Overlay going, and it shows that I have all the process or all the cores, both CCDs working with this game. I'm going to actually go into Process Lasso now and um, show you live what you got to do. So, in here, these are the processes that you need. I think you only need one of these, but Fuck it. I just did all four. And I'm just going to change these all to Vcash cores. So that you guys can see this um, update. Uh, just to show you that I'm not pulling your leg, as they say. And then I'm going to come into here and move these down because this is a priority structure. Um, priority is probably still fine, but you'll see here. So, this right here, I have this button on the bottom checked. This is going to force Battlefield 6 and uh, its Javelin anti cheat to run on the Vcash cores. And you'll see, I'll just start the game up. And we'll wait 15 million years for this to boot up because that's just what Battlefield 6 does. And uh, you'll see uh, in the Steam overlay that. Instead of it using both CCDs, all cores, it's going to be using just the Vcash cores, um, or just the Vcash CCD, cores 0 through 15. And there you have it. If we look up here in the top left, we'll skip this little intro so we can see my mouse cursor. Top left, we got just the Vcash cores. There you have it, gentlemen. Have fun. Quick little side note before the video ends. As you can see, I actually have um, some active cores here on the frequency cores, or active uh, threads on the frequency cores. The main game that I play is Counter-Strike 2, and I actually did benchmarks with core parking turned on versus off, and I got better performance with core parking turned off. Uh, the way that I have that set up, I actually have a separate video on that. But I just have... Um, all of the processes to use the frequency cores, and then just my games to use the free, uh, the Vcash cores. I get better performance in Counter Strike 2 with that. That does not change anything here. You can keep core parking turned on, and this method is still going to work. So don't worry about that.